Sorry, mm -hmm. the container's in your way, little chefs. All right, Papa's back. Hi, little chefs. How are we doing today? So today I'm making chicken stuffed tacos. Right now I got pressure cooked chicken down, but I was gonna show you. Mexican chicken? Yep, Mexican chicken. It can be as spicy as you want it or as mild as you want it. We have to go mild. So I got this concentrated chicken broth that I'm using right now. I'll put water in it with it to tone it down a little bit. Whoops. So you want two tablespoons of chicken base. This does not want to work for me today, everybody. <laughs> I got taco season. That would be to your preference. About a couple tablespoons of that. Cumin. About a tablespoon of cumin. Can you get me the onions out of the fridge, please? Two tablespoons of garlic powder. I got onions and green pepper mixture. Is that about a half a cup of that? Golly, I can't even do nothing to the hair body. About a tablespoon of black pepper. And then add the water. Add your water. Mix it up a little bit so everything gets all. Sorry about that. We had a mishap with the camera. But we're back. Got something on top of the mix. Uh, he was talking about mixing all that stuff up together that he just put in the Insta Instapot. Now, more. you can use any part of the chicken. You can use any chicken. You can use a whole chicken if you want to. I'm using chicken thighs. And right now, somehow syrup got spilled on my Instant Pot. Right on the lid? Yeah, and it's been there. Mm. There you go. Thank you. So you got an Instant Pot. I love my Instant Pot. It does a lot of cooking for me. Yeah. So you want to pressure cook it down. It's probably about 30 minutes. Now how many 30 minute intervals is the thighs going to take? I say one 30 minute interval <laughs> of this one and probably an extra 20. So that would be 50. 50 minutes all together. So, you want it to cook all the way down. Falling off the bone. Yep. You want it nice and soak in all that goodness in there. Because there's uh, all them seasons. Because we're going to, what I'll do is I'll shred the chicken. And I'll take it over in the skillet. And put a little butter in the skillet and saute it. And see how much more season I got put with it. Probably not. Probably not. I don't, don't know. And use some of the juices to cook down into it with the skillet. In the skillet. And it'll be perfect. Be done. And then that's your chicken tacos. And then I'll show you guys how to make Mexican rice. It's easy. It's just white rice with tomato sauce and seasonings. Uh, a lot of people use cumin, but I'll use taco season because yeah. it's got the cumin, it's got the paprika in it, it's got it's got other seasons mixed in it. Are you doing the Mexican potatoes again, or? Yeah, and then I'm gonna do some Mexican potatoes. 
they like the Mexican taters because I cube them up. I'll cube them up nice and small cubes, medium cubes. Deep fry them till they get real crispy, and then I'll toss them in with some um, taco seasoning and a little bit of salt and garlic and white pepper. Toss them. They like them that way, and you can ask them. They there was none left when I make them. And usually when I make Mexican rice, they like it too. So I will show you guys that. After for dinner tonight, I just want to start out the video by showing you that I'm starting to cook down the chicken for the tacos tonight. And I got lettuce and tomatoes. My family ain't a big guacamole for people and sour cream people. I'll eat salsa on my stuff, but and refried beans, but they're not big guacamole people. They don't like the taste of it. Only one person doesn't does like it, and that's Mama. He doesn't like it. He hates it. He calls it what? Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna admit it. Guacamole's good. It looks like somebody fucking sneezed in the fucking bowl and made it. Sorry, I just don't like guacamole. Tastes like you're eating a block of butter. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. You're eating a block of butter. If you guys don't like the cussing, we're sorry. I didn't mean to cuss, but it's supposed to be a family friendly channel. Sorry, but guacamole is easy to make. All it is is you take you chop up mixes uh, mix peppers. And you can uh, throw some tomatoes in it. Take your fresh walk, your avocados, crush them down, throw them in there with your peppers and tomatoes and add some sour cream and a little bit of lemon juice. Mix it up. There's your guacamole, homemade guacamole. It ain't that hard to make, but I don't like it. That is, it's not my thing. And sour cream, I think... To me, sour cream, to me, like my grandpa always says, I don't like funky stuff on my tacos. I like it the Mexican way. And that's the way I am. The Mexican way, and the traditional Mexican way, where I was taught by my grandpa Garcia, is tomatoes, lettuce, and cheese. And your meat. Shredded beef, shredded pork, shredded chicken, ground beef. And that, that's the way I've always ate them. And, and I always ate them with salsa, too. He ate them with salsa, but he always took a scoop of salsa and then eat them. That's the way he did it. And he, from what you you talked about, he used to eat the hot peppers, too. Yeah, and eat hot peppers. I can't eat them anymore. I used to. I loved hot food. I used to eat the most hottest shit you can think of, but, you know, excuse my language, but I can't have it anymore because of my stomach and being a diabetic. Can't have that stuff. It's life changing. Lots of life changing. You know, I used to used to eat anything hot. You see, eat flaming hot Cheetos. Anything flaming hot. Used to love the original Louisiana Andouilles. Man, they were the best, best hot sausage I ever had. I used to eat the Devil's Heart. You know, the Devil's Heart is a scorpion pepper. They call it the devil's heart because it looks like a heart when it blooms and forms. You know, and then you got the ghost peppers. I don't care for ghost peppers. That it just has uh, too much to me. I ate them before, and they have a weird taste to me. I just don't care the taste. And just like Carolina Reapers, I ate them. I had them before, and it's got a weird taste to it. it tastes like. Uh, the heat overpowers the pepper flavor. That's what I think. And all it is is an inbreed. That's all it is. Your inbreed. uncle likes them. Yeah, they're inbreed peppers. Uncle Beaner loves what, them. What they did is they took an enzyme from one hot pepper to another hot pepper and combined it together and and inbreed it together, chromosomed it together and made a pepper. Now, the best pepper I ever ate that really set me on fire... And it's a lot hotter than these. Is a Vietnamese earth pepper. 
Man, Van, these earth peppers are small as a pinky or pen, pencil. Real tiny, and they're long, and they're red as a hot fire. And I'll tell you what, they'll set you on fire. You can take the seeds out, but they're still hot. Yeah. <laughs> you can take the membrane out, and it's still hot. See, if you take the white thing, insert it out of any pepper, hot pepper, and the seed, wash it off, it ain't that hot. But you leave the seed in the membrane, and that's where the heat is. A lot of people don't know that, but... But the earth pepper, it don't care. Mm -mm. I don't know. It's something about that pepper. The best Chinese food I ever ate was the Chinese chef I worked for. And he made me drag the phoenix out of that. And I'm going to tell you what. you, you The word dragon phoenix means dragon phoenix. You're going to be blowing flames because it's, it's hot. Very but he hot. ate it like it was nothing. Yep, he ate it like it was nothing. Not me. But I loved it. It was it was a delicious dish. The thing is about Dragon Fiends, it is hot, but the sweet and sour takes the heat out of you after a while when you start eating the other part. Because the shrimp, it's fried shrimp, and then chicken, and rice, and then there's this other... Uh, meat combination you can pick out. You can pick a mongolian or anything. Mix it up. And it's just a bunch of... It's just fire, I'll tell you. It's good. But you got you got, you got to understand, Chinese people, when they make their food, everybody thinks that all they do is think about hot food. Well, they do. But when they pit the hot stuff with it, it balances out with the sweet and the sour. You know, because... That's why they call it sweet and sour sauce. That's why they I call like it them there. little corn on the cobs they have. Yeah. Them are delicious. You know, stir fried food is, you can have hot with it, but you know, you might have hot with it, but still the sourness or the sweetness or the teriyaki would bounce that heat out. And it usually does. You know, I don't like wasabi either. You won't get me to eat wasabi. I just, I can't get past the smell. It's got a weird smell. Between uh, dirty smelling feet mixed with dirt. That's what it smelled like to me. Wasabi? Yeah. Because mm. it's, it's grown in a waterfall area in Vietnam. In the ground? Yeah. Wow. And it's on a... It's on a uh, Mountain? Riverbank. A oh, riverbank? Like, well, where waterfalls are at. Mm -hmm. This is how my chef explained to me. It's right where a waterfall is, and they these plants just grow up there. And they take the root. So you're going to have the smell of that dirt, whatever kind of dirt that is there. And then, and then when you start peeling, and it gives that, it's just, ugh. I just don't like it. I don't know how people can eat them. Just like avocado. I don't know who thought of eating them dang things and say they're heart healthy. I don't care if they're heart healthy what or not. about horseradishes? Horseradish ain't too bad. I ate that before. I like that. It's spicy. It's not spicy until you get at the bottom where the root, main root part is. If it's up at the top, it's mild. You get in the middle, it's medium. And then you get down to the bottom, that's where the heat is. The more it goes down, more more harder you get. It's just things that you learn. Well, I love cooking. I could talk to you about cooking all day. Cooking's a fun thing. It's a life of art. A lot of people don't know that. If you use your mind and think of it, you're an artiste, a math person, because you got to do math. A mathematician, an artist, a um, chemist. Yeah. You got to make sure you're... Your chemicals bounce out right in your food, and that means by your spices bouncing out just right to make them taste right. But we will be back this afternoon when we make the tacos. Right now, I just want to show you the beginning. It's starting to get warm. See, it's showing you the beginning of making the taco meat that I'm going to do. I'm going to do chicken tacos today. So, y'all, I'll see you guys in a little bit, and I appreciate new chefs on the line, and new chefs that been, the chefs that have been here, really appreciate it. 
and like and subscribe share me out please more I get more and more help gets me to where I can do things that I want to do it's not just about YouTube it's about you guys too you know it's not about me it's about you guys I'm gonna try to give out some of my sauce recipes and convert them into stores for you guys can use but I have to have more subscribers for that can do that and that's how you get sponsors and stuff it's more subscribers you have better off you'll get sponsors so that's what I need give me up to 600 by the end of this month I appreciate it if you can you know I get up to 600 and then I can start getting sponsorships started out and start selling some of my sauces and other stuff that I want to do I might give out a cookbook I don't know yet I'm thinking about it giving you guys one of my cookbooks so like and subscribe and I'll be back in a little bit y'all see you in a little bit chefs peace alrighty okay my little chefs papa's back here's all the chicken I boiled down to boiled all down Every bit of it. Potatoes are on. Sitting next to you. Rice is in the rice cooker right now. The Instapot, yes, it's got a dent on the side. Ask our 15 year old daughter about it. So, what you do here is take some taco seasoning, put some taco seasoning on it. I already had the juice to it. And when I dumped it in here, there was juice in it. You don't use a whole lot of it. Put a little bit of garlic on it. Is this what grandma used to make? Yeah, it was good. And a little bit of salt. And you let it warm up and get hot. And toss it and everything and the seasoning and then you got, got Spanish taters they're all they are is cubed up I'm gonna put some seasonings on it like taco seasoning garlic black pepper salt and cumin toss it in that put it in there It'll be good to go rice Spanish rice I use the same juice that I made the chicken in all I did is add cheese, uh, tomato sauce to it and a little bit more um, taco seasoning to the juice for the rice. Tomato sauce is for the make turning the bread. That's all it is. But it'll be delicious. But I just want to show you guys a little quick brief of the, what I'm doing right now. And when this gets over, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so my little chefs, I'll see you in a little bit. Peace. Okay, everybody, Papa's back. So I got rice, chicken, potatoes in this little holder for her. She's going to put her own toppings on it. Sorry, I'm not showing you guys. Go ahead, Papa. So, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. She can show you the rice real quick if you want to see it. I used the chicken broth that I made the um, chicken in. There it is. And then I did re sauteed that and then some potatoes right there. These are called chicken tacos. So what I'm doing right now is getting... I just put my thumb in the side of mine. Did you? Yes. I'm trying to put tomatoes in there. It's not working. Not cooperating with me, guys.
That's called a stuffed shell. It's a new thing that got out. It's a pocket. Yeah. It's a new thing that got out. Well, best is I'm going to get it right now. Just don't mind the hole. So this is romaine lettuce from the garden. It's a little man's plate. I'm just going to dish him some stuff out already. But he can put his own shell, whatever he wants to do. His own meat in his shell, the way he wants it. And how he wants to fix it. It's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do it this way. And then these shells right here. Put one there on the plate. And if he wants cheese, he can put his own cheese on and stuff. That's how you do it. So you all like and subscribe this video. So tonight is chicken tacos. Something different for my family. Just trying to make everybody happy. But trying to make you guys happy too. Trying to give you different dishes. Send me some more dishes so I can figure out what I can do for you. Vacation's on its way. Four days away. Or stuff I'm going to make on vacation that you guys are going to see on open fire. So, hope you guys like this video. And I appreciate you all. And subscribe if you ain't subscribed. Take care of my little shafts. God bless you. Peace.